Oh, what a beautiful night it is. It's only beautiful because we have the fourth round of bowling here. Wario currently on two wins and Waluigi on one. If Waluigi wins this, then they're in the finals. And all Waluigi has to do is win that round. Win. And what we have done is we have actually turned off the commentators. That way, if we can... Oh, no, not you again. Oh, shut up, you child! Jesus Christ, okay! There's no need. Listen, there's no need to act like a dumbo in front of everyone. Let's get the head out of my house. There we go, that's better. And, yeah, without further ado, let's get this game started. Oh, no, not you. Not you. No, no, no. No. Hey, guys, get out. Get out. Get out of my house right now. Okay, that sounded pretty painful, so let's get this game over with. Alright, Wario out first, and we've turned the commentators off, as I said, that way when the shot is made, I can commentate it, and not the other people. And a miss there from Wario, left the 10. Let's see what Wario can do. Oh! Amazing shot there. Nearly missed it though. And here's Waluigi. He's 34 years old. Originally from Mexico because he's from Mario Games. And left the 7 pin there. So they both do not start off with a strike, but can they both successfully start off with a spare? No, they cannot! Waluigi just went in the gutter there in the last second. Not a great start off for Waluigi at all. And there's a wide shot from Wario left at 3 6. <clears throat> this game is so funny. I say that sometimes too. So you're not the only one who finds this game irritating. Wario going for the spare attempt here. Oh no, and oh no! Oh my god. A big mistake from Wario there. Missed it completely. He didn't even get one pin. He missed both of them. So Waluigi going here. Right into the pocket. And a smashing messenger strike there. That six pin got owned. Owned. Solidly owned. And a strike from Mario as well. Let's see if Waluigi can get two in a row. Two in a row! No! Missed it! Gosh darn it. If Wario gets the strike, then he could win it. But it is still very early. In fact, if I am correct, it is only the fourth frame they're in right now. And if Wario messes up right here, he's opened the doors for Waluigi. That's a wide one! Man, left the 139. Yeah. This is an easy spare. All you gotta do is make sure you can hit the 1 and 3 solidly and hope that the 3 goes into the 9. Or the ball, depends. Alright, let's see what Waluigi can do. The max score for Mario is a 246, whereas for Waluigi it's a 259. There was your strike. Waluigi currently taking the lead here, Wario behind by three points. But more misses could make it even worse. That's not good at all. Consecutive 139s, back to back 139s, whatever you say. He's converted it once. Can he convert it again? Oh, he can. Right on there. Yes. Alright. Now in the fifth frame for Waluigi. Can he get a strike or two in a row? And he get up! Oh, that was almost a Greek church, but he got the nicest break ever there. Didn't get the Greek church, didn't get the four, six, nine, uh, eight. 10 and he didn't even get the 6 8 10. He just got a 6 10. There was a bit of a break there, 
Lucky. Nice fair. Now Wario. Behind by six points. And he's missed the three six again. He's completely missed it in this game. Will he even get it this time though? Oh no! Oh, he's completely missing again! What is going on in Wario's mind right now? Man, not going well for Wario at all. Waluigi ahead by 20 points now. He's just rearranging his aim here, going a little wider, and the, the game decided to even go where he was aiming. And boy, is he left with a tough split here. The 4, 6, 7, 8 hasn't been knocked down on 10 editions before. So who knows what the percentage, the percentage of conversion is. It's never been knocked down before. Can he get it though? Can he somehow get it? No. Didn't get it. Missed the 6 there. Opened the doors wide for Wario. He went from behind. He went from behind by 20 points to behind by just 5. But a big miss here could put him back to behind by 20 points. And of course he isn't going to miss it. There's a nice strike. Let's see what Waluigi can do here. Ahead by 5 points. And that's not a good one at all. Missed the 7. The, the big question is can he pick it up? Can he successfully pick it up? No! Oh my! Oh my! Is it just me, or is Waluigi purposely opening the doors for Wario here? Because it seems to me that he's doing that exactly. Right into the pocket, but how did the six manage to stand then? It almost moved right to the five pin spot. This is a tough spare, uh, spare to convert. Can he do it? Yes, he can! No, he can't! That pin was going right for it, but it for some reason slid downward. It just messed it up for Wario completely. Okay, the max score for Wario is a 177, while for Waluigi it's a 193. And the biggest fail of my of his life not my life the big four this is one of the toughest splits ever in fact it's like the third toughest fourth toughest split converted one percent of the time because it uh has been converted once by waterway williams jr but here's the thing it says that the big four was converted is converted one percent of the time but it's only been converted once but the 710 split since it's been converted 0.8% of the time, but I've seen about 6 conversions from that already. And doesn't even get 2 from the big form. Only got 1. And Wario is ahead by 7 points. The big question is, can Wario get the strike? No. 6. A solid 6 there. You don't hear that very often at all, but he got a solid 6. In fact, I think the 6 pin has been the most likely missed pin so far of this tournament. Oh, that was Wario. Oh, okay. And a strike from Waluigi. Nice. Alright, here's Wario in the 10th. Come on! Come on! Yes! How did he get lucky there? How? Come on, make it two. You need to give him a lot to get to win. And no. Leaves a huge split behind. We've seen Jason Belmonte convert this once before. It's been converted a couple of times as well. But this is a tough one. Three, six, seven. Can Wario save himself with a spare? Yes! Nice, look at that. Almost missed. 
So that leaves Mario with a 157. A strike and nine is your winner of this round. There's not going to be a strike. It's going to be nine. Now he needs... Oh, wait. He's been defeated? Oh. No. Waluigi has been defeated. How did he get defeated by simply missing one pin? How? How? And then he gets the strike. I don't believe this. I, I don't get the strike when I need it, but I do get the strike when I don't need it. And Waluigi loses by seven points. Don't worry though, guys. We do have a special tournament coming up where the winner receives a hundred quid because they said that in the previous video. Or I think they said it in the second round. But the winner of the special round will win a hundred pounds. But Wario does get twenty pounds for uh not not twenty, let's say he gets fifty pounds for winning. So I'm gonna go get that from the safe quickly. Give me a second. Because we store money safely in a safe. That way no one can try to steal it. But Wario was the former winner of fifty pounds. So we need to get 50 pounds out of here. There you go. Unfortunately, we did not have the way to pay 50 pounds with two 20s and a 10, but we do have a way to pay it with two 20s and two fives. As you can see, we got the money right here. It's a bit folded up the fives, but we got a two, a second five here, and two twenties. And Mario is the former winner of it. Yay! Tune in tomorrow, uh, not tomorrow, tune in today at the same time to see who will win the special round for £100.